Uh, Y'all could have had this. No 40k by what Friday? Yeah, Friday. Uh, but yeah, maybe next time. Maybe at 50. <laughs> what? <laughs> Better luck next time. <laughs> How could Chief Matt be stopped? What did Brian say that one time? How do you slow him down? How you, the same way you slow me down. You, you can't. I don't even know what the video is. This was shot before. Subscribe. <laughs> I'm here with Aisha. Hi. The question we're asking today is hypothetically or realistically, what is the best way to get revenge on your ex? Be better, do better, become a better person. So glow up, that's your answer. In what way specifically? What would you do? If you got played, wait, have you been played? <laughs> is this sidetrack? Is the guy who played you still on your mind? No. Because you did better afterwards? Yeah. So how did you do that? Myself first, did whatever the fuck I wanted. But what did that entail? I don't know. We don't do general answers on this channel. Do you want me to be specific? That's the opposite of general, that's what I was asking you. Um, <laughs> I just worked on myself, sorted my mental health, then started working out, eating right, blah blah blah. Whoa. Looking cute. You're still doing that? You're still working out and shit? No. No? I'm just being happy and enjoying life. And then what's your... Huh? Brother, brother, yo, we're filming a video, bro. Can you bounce? Hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass. Anyways, yo, BT, this boy is a fucking bitch boy, bro. I want you to watch this video sometime and just know that the fact that because you're 150 kgs, you think you can just boss people around, you're just a bitch boy. I want you to know that forever and always. Anyways, what advice would you give to anyone who's trying to get over their ex besides the glow up thing? Put yourself first in all. Also, wait, hold on, pause on to sidetrack. This guy has sweat on his back and his ass crack is out in public. Also, as well. Look at this dude. Fucking clown, bro. Sorry, my bad. What was the question? How did you pick your outfit tonight? That was the question. I remember my outfit. Three hour uh, video call with my best friend and Pinterest. <laughs> that girl with Nyasha we saw when we came in was green pants, right? Like that one across the way. Is her. Don't, don't pan the camera, don't pan it. <laughs> I need to get a little shorty in the vlog. I have to, right? I have to. All right, let's make it happen. All right, you did your little recovery session. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. So I'm here with Jamila. Matt, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for asking my name since you're awesome. I didn't, but yeah. okay. Hypothetically, or I feel like in your case, something that's actually happened, what's the best revenge you can get on your ex? Oh, I don't have an ex. Huh? It's a total fabrication. You never yeah. dated? If anybody claims me, they're lying. How old are you? 21. <laughs> no, no, no. What's the giggle? No, 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 I don't have an ex, so I wouldn't know. Okay, but hypothetically. Hypothetically, I would say fuck his friend, but they probably dap each other up afterwards. Mm. So. This girl's actually so online. That's exactly what I was thinking when girls be thinking that. I feel like the other way it hurts. I personally would tell every single girl I saw him approaching that he had an STD. Dang, that's tough. That's pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie. What do you think hurts more to his reputation? Do you think like STD or like he has a tiny dick? Ah. Weirdly enough, tiny dick. Yeah, women like to find out for themselves. So. so, wait, but then that benefits them more. No, no, no. STDs, they're like, oh, she's just bitter, you know. She thinks you have herpes, but I can survive herpes. I'm yeah, I can change it. I'm different. Heal, heal. Exactly. But a small dick, I personally would not want to find out. So, why don't you fuck with relationships? Oh, who said that? You so you don't have an ex? Yeah, but what if relationships don't fuck with me? Ah, so what? Do you want to explore that? No, actually, I would, I'm looking for a boyfriend. If anybody out there is looking for me. Okay, but what, what's your <laughs> resume saying? What are your talents? Um. What can you do for the homies? What can't I do? It's a short list. I like that. Oh, nice. But um, I think I haven't been in a relationship because I haven't found somebody who matches my energy. That's cool to be patient. I'm not patient though. Impatiently waiting for the perfect match. So, and now I feel like the gents that fuck with you are just under fire from the beginning. They are, I won't lie. You know, have you, have you ever been approached by someone and been confused? Like, I'm so hot. Why do you think you have a chance? Like, I've been offended. Oh, I'm not having this. I'm what, not having what, this. What, no, 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 What's no. Some of the guys who approach me, they offend me. So have there ever been gents that approach you that you're like, okay, I could fuck with them? Yeah, of course. And then? You know what? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, because now I'm thinking like, I'm I don't want to fuck you up on cam, but I'm thinking like, what is the common I'm denominator here? Me. And it's you. <laughs> no, I've said enough. Honestly, I will say the gents who come for me are a lot more emotional than they let on. At first? 
no, off jump. Things start off casual, and then I'm like, yeah, let's keep it casual. And they're like, no, I love you. And but you like, said you're looking for a boyfriend. <laughs> a boyfriend I like. So the gents that say they love you, you don't like? No, I don't like. So you just kind of fuck with the energy, but you're not like into them like that. Emphasis on fuck, yeah. Do they know? <laughs> do they know that from the this jump? Is real deep. Are you my therapist? Are you gonna charge me? That's not my fault that I'm good at unlocking people's secrets. Fair, fair. Yeah, but do they know what? Do they know that you don't fuck with them from the beginning? Yeah. Cut the <laughs> she said, cut the cameras. Cut yeah, it's always a friend. Sorry, guys. Bye. Um, just give me your ass so I can tag you in the video, yeah? Jamila da Costa da. Sorry, I'm not gonna remember you. Just spell it out for me. Stand down. Stand down. Hey, hey! What did I just say? Bell's up. I see you. Back up. Okay. Good. Good. Is in God. This is <laughs> Did you catch a walk away? I know Jamila won't mind. Shorty? <laughs> Ponta. <laughs> but it's an interesting question because you guys are couples. I'm here with Caitlin and Sim. Hypothetically or realistically in your past, I don't know how honest you guys are with each other about your past, but what is the best way to get revenge on your ex? You want Sim to go first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not looking good, Bev. It's not looking good. Can I answer for her? Yeah, for sure. It might be to fuck her nigga's best friend. You know what Nikki said? Rule. Wait, wait. First rule to be a boss ass bitch. Never let a clown nigga try to play you. Okay. If he play you, then rule number two. Okay. Fuck his best friend. Who makes them yes, man. Did you be worried, eh? <laughs> So we have the answer if he plays you, you have your answer. But if she plays you, what's your method? That's a real question because it's like you guys are the only couple in the video when we have both of you here at the same time. Who cares more about okay, fucking best I friends? Know what I'll do. I'll just be successful. Yeah, just glow up. Actually, you know what would be a good question? In your guys' opinion, say you played them, what would be the worst way that they could glow up on you or get revenge on you? Like what would hurt the most? Like honestly speaking, what would hurt the most? Who wanna go first? Okay, I think if she would go to my family and like let it know that like this is what this nigga did to me. She cool with your family right now? Yes, she is. Okay, so then like they have a trust relationship and yeah, then she goes and be like, yo, it's not my fault the relationship ended. That's yeah. what happened, okay? Yeah, yeah. And you? Honestly, the worst thing you can do is like live your life. Just like, bye. Know, this is like nothing happened. Like, yeah, like bye. Yeah, I think I think that gives her the impression that you're completely fine after everything you had. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, because I think after breakups, they want you to care. That I feel would be like the best way or the most effective way to hurt that person. Also, on some like completely wholesome shit it's very cute that you guys are honestly telling each other what's gonna hurt the most if you guys play each other <laughs> like that's some honest shit bro this is hypothetical <laughs> oh yeah no it's hypothetical yeah, no, no, it's hypothetical yeah, yeah. Yeah. My bad. I, yeah let me not create any riffs in the yeah. relationship <laughs> Lebo Lebo please what do you want to say bro you're being recorded Relax. No, yeah. don't say anything. <laughs> okay, level boss. Generally, my channel's on some toxic shit, but on some wholesome shit because I feel like you guys qualified very well as a couple. What is some wholesome advice you guys have for new couples that are starting out? How long you guys been dating? Ooh, can I have this one? Synchronized, guys. Wait, how long you guys been dating? Huh? It's it's been a year, but like oh, we nice. literally like know each other that well, huh? like just synchronized, guys. There is. It, it, it's, it's very underrated. Now, what do you mean by synchronized? You mean communication? Just work together, like, just know your partner. So, some people might think that, like, they communicate well, but might not know their partner as well as they think they do. So, when you know what your partner is thinking and synchronize and act in a specific way that could be seen in a better sense from your partner's perspective, like, bro, that is the best. And that, that's how we both work, you know what I mean? Like, I and what would you say? Be, like, now for her, and she knows it's gonna be now for me, and, like, that always works. Yeah, I think, like, one of the most important things is to like learn from any arguments that you have so like you can better deal with situations the next time you encounter like a similar issue so you're not like fighting over the same thing repetitively and also just you know being like understanding of your partner's faults I mean we're all human beings we're all fucker what I'm hearing is like it's like dropping the pride basically just being humble in each other's flaws and stuff if someone fucks up it's very easy to hold that shit over them to be like oh remember when you did this but remember that you guys have love for each other and like you're trying to make this shit work this is honestly some wholesome shit but yeah I appreciate you guys Thank <laughs> you.
All right, so I'm here with Don Sean. I'm here with Steve Mad. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, I appreciate you, man. Why don't we like you? What is the best way to get revenge on your ex? On some toxic shit, like the worst possible shit you could think of. Obviously, smash your friend, bro. Why do you think that's the tactic? Because of the emotional damage. Yeah, exactly. You gotta hit it where it hurts. I don't know if there's any coming back from that, though. There isn't. So it really depends on how much you mess with short. Yeah, although I really saw a TikTok today. A girl was like, this is supposed to be my red flag, and she showed a text yeah. where the boyfriend was like, I'm finna smash your best friend, but she liked that shit. She liked that shit? Yeah, like she likes the danger, you understand? Well, that's a Uno reverse guard. But it kind of benefits the guy anyways because like oh she fucking with that so now there's sexual tension with you smashing her best friend it sounds like a win-win situation yeah. i'm trying to break it down right now because i didn't think of it that way i don't see a situation where i can lose if i'm honest although let me not lie when i think about threesomes bro performance anxiety reaches inside my head bro because i have to handle both bro i was about to say it's too much to handle i'm already worried about one chick not to satisfy her and another i think the only way is if they're fucking with each other as well exactly like, if they're both relying on you i think it's cakes for me bro nah because then nah, at that point you have to perform too much there's too much on your shoulders bro. Like, you know when LeBron was in the finals with, like, J.R. Smith and Tristan Thompson? I can't carry the whole team, boy. I need teammates, boy. You know, whole squad up in that bitch, bro. One time for the one time. I appreciate you, bro. I got you. Good, boy. I'll let you sit. Come. Thank you, thank you. No problem. Yeah, you see me? Do you understand what this is? This is gentleman activities. you understand? All right, so I'm here with... Lupe Loops. Okay. Otherwise known as criminal score changer for the benefit of the women's team, but we're allowed. No, 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 no. I did what was right. Who paid you? No, Who's your friends on the team? You see, T? Love my life. Question we're asking today is what is the best. Wait. What is the worst revenge you can get on your ex? Right? Oh, shit. No clue, but I have to stop the time. You gotta go. Ah, 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 ah. We're gonna continue the interview. We all know you're bad at scorekeeping, anyways. It depends on the ex. Because I would. That's plus two to see beauty. Huh? Plus two, you see beauty. I got you, don't worry. Thank you. It depends on the ex because I would attack what they love the most. So in your experience, what has that been? So in the past, my boyfriend... Plus two UCT. So in the past, my boyfriend loved his sport. So every time he'd lose something, I made sure he knows that he lost it. <laughs> when he's your ex though, or when you guys are dating? When we were exes and together. Both. What? Both, it doesn't matter. Plus two UCT. No, you've got me for real, hey? For sure. You know, I'll attack what you love the most. So wait, you did the same thing when you were dating and exes, so what was yes. the difference in reasoning? There is no difference in reasoning. So you watch, you're just toxic I'll, all around. No, I'm not toxic, don't say that. Well, why would you attack his weaknesses when you're dating? When we're dating, well, I'll attack it in private. When we're apart, I'll attack it in public. Did you get the CBUT points? I did. When we're not dating, I'll attack you in public. I'll make sure everyone knows that you suck. <laughs> Are you still on good terms with the exes? I'm guessing not. Uh, no. I will I wouldn't, uh, we just don't talk. Do you ever meet up with him again? No, because he's all the way in Pretoria. Flights are not that expensive. Bro, what the fuck? Did, what did you just say? Let's go! Plus two UCT. Huh? No, not plus six. Plus two. I did plus two. Yeah, but I'm playing you on the edit. Uh, don't do that. Don't do that. Let's go. Support my boys. Thanks. <laughs> Which one do you have a crush on? Nobody. <laughs> I can't tell the people that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we know, we know. You'll tell me off cam. You'll tell me off cam. I'll tell you off cam. For sure. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here with Nas and Naledi. Hypothetically or realistically, what's the best way to get revenge on your ex? That's crazy. I wouldn't know because I've never had an ex. Right. So personally, girls you had to conjure revenge. one up. Girls say revenge body, right? Like they go to the gym, they get hot girl summer. I guess that's what I would do. I'm so not like just flexing thing. up on your ex. Yeah, exactly. And you? I don't believe in revenge, hey? Okay, but if you did, if you did, no, 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 if you, no, no, I can, I can tell that you're wholesome, Hans, but if you weren't. If I believed in revenge. Yeah, we're all wholesome here. All, all three of us are wholesome here. How evil would you go? Yeah, how evil would you go? Yeah, yeah. Like, what would you think would hurt the most? Besides flexing up, we don't yeah. copy people's answers on this channel. I really don't know. Damn, that's hectic. <laughs> See, I wouldn't... What movie? I actually forgot what it's called. It's like these four black women, they all get like fucked over by guys and then the one sets his car on fire. That's pretty deep. If he doesn't have insurance... Men love cars. So if you burn the car, child. Or crease the... Sneakers. To be honest, like, I feel like some gents like that toxic shit though. Right? They like girls to show possession over them, you know? Go to therapy. <laughs> sort yourself yeah, out. No, I agree. No, no, no toxic shit. Well, actually, I take his shoe collection. His whole shoe collection? I'll take it. I'll take it. That's literally theft. That's just a crime. That's not revenge. That's just crime. I feel like it's compensation. For what you're hurt. Yes, exactly. Why are you assuming that your ex did something wrong? Uh, Why couldn't it be your fault? Because all men do is lie. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, fuck men, low key. So I got my boy. Wavy Terry in the cut. That's the end of today. Subscribe to Wavy Terry. The question that we're asking today is, what is the worst revenge you can get on your ex? What you do is, you get back with your ex, right? But just for like a day, right? And then you get access to her favorite pair of shoes. Okay. And then 
you take those shoes and you burn them, that's your revenge. But obviously that's not something I would do because I am wavy. So what I would do, silence is the best thing you can ever do. You just keep quiet. Nonchalant. I became very nonchalant, but this is what y'all wanted, right? She's just dead. Like act like she never existed. But that's only if she still cares though. Yeah, because like, you have an ex that doesn't care then. I don't think it's possible to have an ex that doesn't care. You think so? There's always that little feeling of yo. I got girls I used to fuck with that do not give a fuck about me now. Really? Uh. If your girlfriend has went to any season open the basketball game. I'm not like you though. I'm not I'm trying to be like wavy Terry. You get me? Nah, I'm not wavy like Terry, you understand? Just different. Maybe you're just on top. <laughs> hey, for me, I'm just a wholesome guy. So I your thing is like burn her shoes. <laughs> Yeah. What if she doesn't have a shoe game? What if she wearing like Toms? If she's wearing Tommies, then she is not my girl. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Shut up! Shut up, please! Shut up, please! How are women's toilets in clubs? Shit. Yeah. The men's ones are worse, trust. You have like 400 men. You know one time in first year, I walked in the toilet and there was a man like passed out in the urinal. Like no. that big. You know how men's urinals are like that bank? Oh. Sleeping inside. Anyways, that's not what we're here for. I'm here with? I'm Marion. With an N? Yeah, with an N. That's unique. Oh. Question we're asking today, hypothetical real life situation. What is the best way you would get revenge on your ex? I would say uh, to better yourself, just to grow and you'll get over them. To grow and heal? Yeah, and heal. Do you perhaps believe in uh, star signs and incense? No, I don't. That's what the fuck you're talking about! I was thinking that that was the way that this was going because you gave some Chakrahan answer about growth and renewal and rejuvenation. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We've had a similar answer about flexing up on people. So specifically, how would you do that? So you're saying like go to the gym, get your money up, get your socials popping. This might be a very deep answer, but but I would say to emotionally heal um, from things in your past. Specific to that ex or like just in general? Just in general, because I mean your relationships are influenced by your past. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I appreciate people getting deep. We don't always need the superficial level answers. I'm hopping like a bitch because I need a pee so badly. <laughs> but thank you for your answer. I appreciate it. Of course, you. of course. And I like your hairstyle. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>